Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about India's Arctic Expedition. As usually, first we will see the learning objectives before we go further. In this video, you can expect that foreign topics will be covered. They are first why it is in news, obviously, that is context, then Arctic region and borders, the countries which are sharing the border with the Arctic region. With the map pointing, we will discuss. We will discuss about the what is the significance of Arctic region. Here, we will discuss about Arctic region significance in terms of environment, geopolitics and in terms of understanding the Himalayas also. How can you know the better understanding about Himalayas by understanding the Arctic region? Then, the reasons behind India's growing interest in the Arctic region. Of course, India is having wide range of interest, same like the significance of Arctic region. It includes geopolitical interest, climate related interest, trade related interest and so on so and so forth. Then what are the challenges to India's exploration here? What kind of steps we can take? That means how we can effectively improve our presence in the Arctic region and finally we can draw the conclusion. Then syllabus mapping, this is related to IR and if you are a PSAR student obviously it can be helpful in paper 2 also. Now let us see, we'll try to understand the context. The context is in last month, March 2024, India successfully completed its first winter mission in Arctic. Okay, So, first winter mission in Arctic. Normally, we do conduct research okay, from very long term in Arctic region, but those kind of expedition in the summer time, where the temperature somewhat raise up in, off, in Arctic region. But here, for the first time, we done the winter expedition. So, we can understand the winter climatic condition in the Arctic region. And of course, Arctic region experience severe harsh climatic condition and we will see the map pointing of the Arctic region and which countries sharing the border with the Arctic region. So here we can see Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. These countries together known as Arctic Circle. Now out of these countries, tell me students, which country recently joined in the NATO out of these countries? Which country recently joined in the NATO? Okay. Comments. Here, the context already we discussed. Now, we will see Arctic region. First, we will try to understand the further information regarding the Arctic region. It is located in obviously the northernmost part of the earth and it is around the north pole of the earth. And Arctic region includes Arctic Ocean and several other countries already we listed the country names. This region experiences severe extreme cold temperature and it regulate even the earth climate also in various ways. For example, this region will control the ocean currents. Because of its white ocean, this ice cap, it, it reflects certain amount of the light so that it will maintain the heat balance across the earth. And this Arctic is a very, I mean, home to very unique flora and fauna. Fauna example, polar bees, seals, whales and various species of birds. Regarding the economic significance, of course, various rare earth minerals and a lot of hydrocarbon reserves here we can find. Let us see, rich deposits of coal, gypsum, diamonds and also reserves of the zinc, lead and placer gold and quartz, this can be found. And Greenland alone, it possesses around quarter of the world's rare earth reserves. Actually, rare earth reserves, they are playing very important role in the manufacturing of the batteries. Especially as the usage of electric vehicles is increasing, rare earth minerals role is, it is increasing a lot. And of course, regarding that, even India is putting much effort on the Samudrayan mission also. Tell me students, what is the name of the vessel we are using in the Samudrayan mission? What is the name of the vessel? Next, unexplored hydrocarbon reserves, almost all 30 percent of the world undiscovered natural gas, it is present in the in this region. And you all know that with respect to natural gas, the country with huge amount of the natural gas, that is uh, Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan is the country with huge amount of the natural gas. India is the third largest energy consuming country and our energy demands are growing further in the future as India is moving in the development you know, trajectory. Geographical significance here, it helps this Arctic region helps in the world's ocean currents, moving cold and warm water around the globe and the Arctic Sea, this ice act as a huge white reflector at the top of the planet helping the keep, keeping the earth at 
even temperature, the geopolitical significance. China already referring this region as a polar silk road and identifying it as a third transportation corridor of the Belt and Road Initiative. You know that Belt and Road Initiative is a China's initiative it related to building infrastructure projects. Belt and Road Initiative it includes both it includes both land as well as the water components. Land component is known as One Belt One Road Initiative and the water component is known as you know, like Maritime Silk Routes. Next, it is very crucial to counter China's soft power in this Arctic region as well. Next, environmental significance regarding the environment, not only it is regulating the world's climate, this particular region is also very crucial in understanding about our Himalayas climate also. Of course, Himalayas and Arctic region, they may present it very distant. But here, by understanding the Arctic region, we can better know the Himalayas regarding how the ice is melting and what is the effect of the global warming in ice melting and regarding the further studies also we can know so that we can understand the better idea about the Himalayas. India launched its first scientific expedition in the Arctic Ocean in 2007. It opened its research station at Himadri Research Base at Svalbard, Archipelago, Norway and it has been actively engaging in research there ever since. What are the reasons behind India's growing interest? Reasons are climate occurrence similar to Arctic Sea region that is we can understand Himalayan climates, prospective trade routes, emerging geopolitical threats like Russia-Ukraine conflicts and even we can understand the effect of global warming on Indian monsoon and the different challenges especially the policy divide in India and rising sea level concerns emerging race course especially from China and threat to biodiversity. Steps to be taken. We have to go on collaboration with the countries which are sharing border with this Arctic Ocean and alignment with Arctic countries. We have to go on along with the Arctic countries following the sustainable mode of resource extraction and aligning India's Arctic policy with the Arctic Council's objective and finally moving beyond the scientific approach. So these are the steps we have to be taken and the conclusion. The conclusion is international cooperation and sustainable practices these are very essential for preserving the Arctic delicate environment and ensuring its long term viability. Of course, India is committed to respect the sustainable usage and sustainable exploration of the Arctic region. There is no doubt regarding that. Let us see today's MCQ question. Today's MCQ question it is which of the following are members of Arctic Council, UK, Denmark, Finland? Choose the correct answer from the below given codes. Main's question, discuss the environmental and strategic importance of Arctic region for India. This is main question. As we reach to the end of this video, quick revision. In this video, we mainly discussed about India's successful completion of the winter expedition in Arctic region. As a part of that, countries which are sharing this Arctic circle and our research station in Arctic area and why we are very much interested, what are the challenges here and how we can understand the Himalayan, Himalayan climate, climate mainly by going through the Arctic region. So this is the detailed analysis regarding the India's successful completion of the winter expedition of Arctic region. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.